Hey everyone, it's Cecilia here at the Amarillo Museum of Art, and I'm back today with another video project, this time inspired by Vincent van Gogh and his Starry Night Landscape. Now to make our own version of this at home, we're going to do this in two steps. So the first step that we're going to do is we are going to make our background using shaving cream and food coloring. And then once we have our background finished, we're going to do our silhouettes of our landscape, and then we're going to put that over top of our background. So for this project, I recommend using watercolor paper or any kind of thick paper you might have at the house. You're also going to need shaving cream, food coloring, or liquid watercolor, something to cut with, either scissors or an X-Acto knife, a glue stick, and some sort of tray to put our shaving cream on. I have a small star from tray right here, but you could use a cookie sheet or any kind of shallow baking dish you might have at the house. All right, now that we have all of our supplies, let's zoom in and take a closer look at what we're doing. So we're going to take our shaving cream and spray it onto our tray. We want a nice even layer, so make sure we're using enough to do that. And then we're gonna take some sort of tool to spread that out. I'm just using a piece of rubber. And then we're going to drop in our food coloring. I'm only using blue and yellow to match the colors of Van Gogh's Starry Night. Next, I'm taking a skewer and spreading out the food coloring. You could also use a fork or a toothpick, anything you have would work. And I'm just gonna keep spreading that around and swirling it until we get a nice impressionist feel for it. Now taking our watercolor paper, we're going to gently place it over top of our shaving cream and smooth it with our hands. And now we're going to gently lift it up from the tray you're going to want to let the shaving cream sit on the paper for at least a minute so that way it really soaks through and then you're going to take your scraper tool and remove all of the excess shaving cream. Once we've removed all of our shaving cream, we are ready for part two of the project. Taking my black paper and a pencil, I'm just going to sketch out the design that I would like. And for this one, I'm going to do just a simple design with several cacti. With my design all drawn out, I'm now going to start cutting off the excess black paper. Now, depending on your design, you might want to use an X-Acto knife instead of scissors. For this one, I started with scissors, but I found it was a lot easier to take an X-Acto knife and finish the rest. If you do use an X-Acto knife, make sure you put down some sort of mat over your table so that way you don't scratch it up. I have a special cutting mat that I'm using, but you could also use a book cover or cardboard. Now that our design is all cut out, we're going to take our glue stick and begin gluing it down to our background. We're going to place that paper over our background and my black paper ended up being longer than my background so I'm just going to take my scissors and cut off the excess. And that is it. You can make your landscape as simple or as complex as you would like. I have one with real simple trees right here, and then my next one is inspired by Cadillac Ranch. However you wanna do it is completely fine. All right, and that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this tutorial, I hope you guys will recreate it and make sure you tag us at Amarillo Museum of Art and use the hashtag Amoa at home so we can check out your recreations. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.